Welcome back everybody for another episode of Review. And today, we're going to look at the new Vexis Atom 500 SDI. But first, let's do a little unboxing. You are watching RMP TV. It looks almost like the first Atom 500, except for the SDI port over here, and it looks slightly longer. Here's a full spec comparing the two. If you haven't watched the review of the first Atom 500, click at the pop-up banner here. So what is SDI and how is it different from the HDMI? The SDI is a family of digital video interfaces and has been widely adopted by the broadcast industry. It is used for transmission of uncompressed, unencrypted digital video signals in TV studios. It is basically using the BNC video connector, which uses a Bionet style locking mechanism to attach the cable to the device. This type of connection is very robust and virtually you can't accidentally unplug the cable without deliberately twisting it. This makes SDI a better choice than HDMI for a professional application. HDMI, on the other hand, is mainly designed for consumers. Because of the copy prevention technology HDCP used in HDMI connections, it slows down the connection speed from input to output. So this explains why SDI is preferred over HDMI for video connections, making this little Atom 500 SDI so irresistible. Now, let's look at the key features and some of the improvements over its predecessor. Each unit has one HDMI and one SDI port. This is the 3G SDI, which can support up to 1080 60p. It has 500 feet transmission range with latency of less than 80 milliseconds, which is slightly faster than the HDMI version. Let's find out if SDI has lower signal latency than HDMI as mentioned. Apparently, SDI is faster, but the difference to me is negligible and you can't really tell with naked eyes. However, I didn't manage to get 80 milliseconds latency when using SDI. Instead, I got 110 milliseconds, which could probably be due to the surrounding interference. Next, is it full focus friendly? Something I've been wanting to test. So, it depends on your rack focus speed and pace. If the focusing speed is slow and you're not shooting any fast action scene, 80 milliseconds of signal latency is acceptable. To do dramatic right focus, I would recommend using the wireless transmission system with near zero latency like the Vexis Storm series. Another new feature that comes with Atom 500 SDI is that it has a built-in signal cross converter. This is my old standalone signal cross converter from SDI to HDMI. Look at how big this thing is. Imagine having to attach this to your device it would have been heavy and bulky. Atom 500 SDI simply solved the problem. So how does the signal cross converter work? When you connect the transmitter using SDI while the receiver using HDMI or vice versa, the devices can still communicate without the need to turn it off and on again. This feature is usually available in higher-end models. When using Atom 500, I realized that mobile app monitoring is very useful, especially if you do not want to bring big monitor around. Now, Vexis has added built-in QR code for quicker connecting process. Save you time to key in the ID and password. Next, one of my favorites. Unlike the first Atom 500, the menu buttons are not flush to the body. It is so much easier to press now. Well done, Vexis. The menu has been completely redesigned it looks neater and easier to navigate. They have also included manual channel scan function if you need to avoid certain channels. Nevertheless, it will always lock to the best channel possible automatically when you turn on the devices. My advice is, whenever you move from one place to another, you could either use the manual scan function or simply restart the system to search for the best channel automatically. Atom 500 SDI allows the switching between Celsius and Fahrenheit on display while in the previous one, there is no other options but Celsius. One more thing I would like to point out is the enhancement to the battery plate. 
This is Vexi's patented design. The stainless steel shrapnel makes the battery less likely to fall off accidentally. Okay, what's my conclusion on Atom 500 SDI? I definitely love the built-in signal cross converter. It is so versatile and useful on set that I could use it on equipment with SDI or HDMI port without a separate signal converter. Second, it is small and compact, easy to pack into my camera case. All the buttons are raised, new manual design resulting in better user experience overall. Additional manual scan function is a bonus. Last but not least, the price point. This is one of the most affordable pro-consumer video transmission system that comes with SDI and HDMI port in the market today. It will surely benefit those on film set, from filmmakers, videographers, to sound recordists. Is there anything that I don't like about it? Yes, currently there's no low battery warning. There is a battery voltage display, but it is not really useful for me to be honest. A few times we were caught off guard when the battery died during filming. I think that's pretty much about it. Overall, it's a great product that will bring value to your production. I also want to applaud Vexis for coming up with cool skin wrap design, which I think is really thoughtful. Before we end, let me tell you something. Ever thought of Atom 500 SDI in gold version? I'm not talking about stickers or skin wrap. Cast your vote in Vexis community page on Facebook. If there's demand, Vexis will make it happen. And do join our Facebook group if you haven't, also to find out more about other Vexis products. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and hit the subscribe button. See you next time.